You spent a lot of money over the last five years, buying the team, payroll, investing in analytics. It's taken five years to get to the World Series. What are the lessons you've learned in, in money and analytics? You know, and the basic process is the, stay, is the same. It starts with scouting, goes through player development, and then mixing the team together. But I think we've got a lot more focus today on not just every piece of the 25-man roster, but the whole 40-man roster, and then the 250 minor leaguers that we have. It's using everything and getting every ounce out of everything that, you know, improving our ROI, I think that's what we've spent our time doing. Can money buy you a championship? Can analytics do that? No, I think your work can buy you championships. You know, and all the people that we have doing analytics and uh, involved in finding better solutions, all of that, you call it money, but we invest in our people, we invest in our R&D, and I think all of that pays off. We've won our division five years in a row. Here we are in the World Series. So I think our investment's been good, and it is surely the product of smart investing. Going into game six, 22 home runs, a World Series record, pitching coaches from both teams complaining about the balls, saying that these balls are too slick. What's your take on that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to argue with all the pitchers who say they're different. I, I have spoken to Major League Baseball. Uh, we have a lot of people and a lot of money invested in figuring out what exactly is going on. It appears something's going on. I don't know what it is. Baseball doesn't know what it is. I think we'll get to the bottom of it. But the result is we're having a heck of an exciting World Series, and that's good. Maybe good for ratings then, if you have more home runs. Ratings equals eyeballs equals people, and I love it when people are watching our game. On the other hand, you've got the game generally is very long. Uh, what do you think should be done to shorten the game starting next season? You know, there are whole things that we're looking at, and there's a committee that's dedicated to spending time on that. I think what's interesting is it's the pace of the game, it's not the length. If people are moving around and having excitement, certainly people in the stadium, they don't complain about the length. They do complain about the pace. They complain about dead spots. I think there are a lot of people thinking about how to fill in dead spots or how to you know, reduce dead spots. I think that's the answer. Should the home plate umpire be replaced by a computer? Should a computer call balls and strikes? I think eventually that day is going to come. We're seeing other sports utilizing technology to improve uh, the accuracy of balls and strikes. I don't know how soon. I don't know if it's a year or five or 25. I think that day is coming, but I don't know how soon. Should Guriel have been punished for this series rather than next year? We were really comfortable with the decision that the commissioner made. It was a complicated one involving many different factors. Uh, we had our views on it, other people had theirs, but we accept the, the judgment of the commissioner. Um, and uh, are you, would you like to make any man changes in the way this team is being managed in the World Series? Are you pleased with the way the team has been managed? I I'm super pleased with the magic that got us here and with the magic that still has us here nearing the end of the World Series. Beyond whatever happens here, as you look to next year, where do you see weaknesses? Where would you like to make changes? Look, we start over the day after the World Series at square one, trying to get back here next year. And that happens whether we win or don't win. That process never changes. Uh, sure, we're going to beef up in areas that we can. Uh, there'll be changes. There'll be players that age out. There'll be young players ready to come up. Uh, and there'll be trades and things. I, I mean, I couldn't begin to predict them now, but there'll be changes. They'll be, you know, morphing into next year's version, and it's always an exciting process. I will tell you this. The team that we have on paper that goes to spring training won't be the team you see in October because it's a constant process. We saw that this year. We see it every year. We're going to see it next year also. What are the chances more L.A. viewers will be able to see Dodger regular season games on TV? Well, I, again, I think the Justice Department has you know, made it clear that the reason people can't right now is because of the myriad unlawful activities of DirecTV. They're looking at it. California's looking at it. And uh, let's see how that turns out. Because that's the answer when they finally fix that problem. What are you going to do tonight? Where are you on this Halloween? I'm everywhere. I'm all over. Yeah, but, you know, there's nothing I can do to impact it at this stage. I'll be watching with great interest from everywhere in the ballpark. And finally, Stan Kasten, you've been around sports a long time. How does this rank in craziness? The World Series, they're, they're all crazy. They're all unpredictable. They're always heroes you didn't know about. There are goats that you expected to be great. That's just the way it is. And the unpredictability of the World Series is what makes it so exciting, so dramatic, and so watchable. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.